YouTube channel. I have been waiting so long for this. I was gonna buy one and then they sent me one to review. So I am just so excited to open this thing up and take a look at it. This might be, no, by far, this will be my best and most fun and coolest product review ever. So let's go ahead and open up the Himaway All-Terrain Electric Fat Bike Cruiser. There is definitely some assembly required. Okay, we got all the styrofoam off of this thing. First impressions, I love the satin black look. It is super sleek and it looks really beefy. Accessories. Oh, sweet. Awesome. Whole little tool pack with all the needed Allen wrenches. There's even sockets in here. There is the rear derailleur guard. There is the front axle. Pedals. Ooh. Front headlight. Nice. There's the manual. These are the specs. And a humongous charger. 54.6 volts at two amps. Let's install the handlebars. That was easy. Then we can use this handy dandy part of the tool they gave us. Now I will go ahead and install the front fender and headlight. All that's left to do is to install this rear rack. about 20 PSI in these big old tires. And there we go guys, that is the complete assembly done in about half an hour. So this thing was really easy to assemble and man, I cannot wait to ride this thing. Here we've got the handlebar controls, we got plus and minus, pedal assist modes, headlight, information button, and power button. And there we go. So it is showing full battery, that is awesome. Let's test the headlight. That's definitely pointed way too high. Let's beam that down a little bit, that looks better. And let's check the taillight out. There we go, we're already going 24, 26, 27 miles an hour. There's definitely something rattling with the front fender. This is rubbing on the tire there. Just gotta give it a quick bend. There, that should be better. Okay, I can definitely feel this thing has a good bit of torque because it, it can really take off. I mean, I'm already going 24 with just throttle. I haven't even pedaled at all yet. We're doing a little bit of pedaling now. Let's test out the pedal assist modes. 
So pedal assist one is very slow. It's barely, barely moving. We got a Shimano seven speed gear shifter on this thing. We're in first gear now. Let's bump it up to, okay. Pedal assist two is definitely a big, big improvement. All right, I'm gonna try zero to 20 miles an hour in pedal assist five. Let's get it. All right, there we go. Now let's try that just with just throttle. That's pretty fast. It feels good. These fat tires really make it feel smooth. Like I feel like I could take on anything in this. It does have a bell. Yeah, the brakes work really good. All right, well, initial test ride, successful. This thing rips. Guys, this thing is awesome. I've only ridden it a little bit and I love it. I need to make some adjustments to the seat, maybe stiffen up the front forks a little bit, adjust the handlebars a little bit just to make it more comfortable for me. And then I think I'm really gonna be able to have some fun on this thing. But first impressions, this thing is awesome. I absolutely love it so far. Can't wait to take it off-road and really see what it's made out of. I am here at South Park BMX. This is at my local BMX track and I'm gonna rip the Hemaway Fat e-bike on this track. I've put about 20 miles on this bike so far and let me just tell you, I am blown away. This bike is absolutely amazing. Let's hit the track. Let's go. Like a pretty good run. I mean it is an e-bike. I didn't have to pedal much. But holy crap this thing is fun. skate park capable so I know that this bike does well on the track but how will it do in the woods on real mountain biking trails well let's find out
Oh. Woo! Yeah. This bike has outperformed beyond any of my expectations. It has put up with so much abuse. Just today I put about 20 miles on it and still the battery gauge only went down one block. This bike is absolutely insane. I love it. I'm gonna have so much fun on this thing. The big fat tires give it a ton of traction in any environment. The disc brakes let you stop on a dime. As you can see here, I stopped a little bit too quickly and actually flew over the handlebars, which is fine. You know, this thing does donuts. Hill climbs. Jumps. Anything you can throw at it. I completely recommend this bike, and if you want to pick one up for yourself, check the link in the description. You won't be disappointed, trust me. Comment down below what you think of the bike, and I've actually got another e-bike build coming soon with a mid-drive motor. It's going to be awesome. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those upcoming videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.